my top five tricks within Unity's hierarchy window that you can use to save a ton of time and keep your hierarchy clean. This is Cassius, creator of Mile High Taxi. Let's dive right in. While most of these tips are for large hierarchies, they're also very useful when developing smaller games as well. Number five, quickly move objects up or down. If you're creating a small game in Unity, you may not have that many game objects in your hierarchy. But as soon as your Unity game gets just a little bit bigger, you're likely to find yourself moving game objects up or down in the hierarchy. When there's only a few dozen or so, or even a hundred objects, moving them around isn't such a big deal. But once you have multiple hundreds or thousands, dragging a game object through the hierarchy gets tiresome and prone to errors. To solve this, select one or more objects that you'd like to move. With them selected, scroll to where you'd like to place them. Holding Ctrl in Windows, Command key on Mac, click the game object you'd like to move your objects below. Then drag that object above its current position, but do not let go of your mouse button. Instead, move it back to where it was originally and then release the mouse button. Bam! All your selected game objects are now here. Number four. Minimize or expand all child and grandchild game objects in one click. If you're like me, you probably have game objects that not only have children, but child siblings, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, great-great-grandchildren, great-great-great-great-great-great-great. You get the point. Having all generations of game objects open means a lot of scrolling up and down throughout the Unity hierarchy window and it can be a real pain to shrink objects. Did you know you can shrink or expand all those game objects in just one click? Go to the highest level parent object and hold the Alt key and click the down facing arrow. This will not only shrink the parent, but all the child objects as well. Alternatively, if you need to expand all children and descendants, holding Alt and clicking the right facing arrow will expand all the children. I use this trick dozens of times every day. Number three, child prefab and game object replication. Sometimes you need to duplicate or copy a game object, either in a regular hierarchy window or in the prefab hierarchy window. I do this a lot, particularly when having prefabs within prefabs. But if you need to copy a prefab into something else multiple times quickly, it sucks to have to drag and drop again and again. Instead, drag the prefab or whatever game object that needs to be duplicated into place. Then Ctrl C in Windows to copy, Command C on Mac, click the child object and Ctrl V in Windows to paste, Command V on Mac. This will create a copy of the original prefab or game object and carry over the transform details as well within the new parent. Number two, use game objects for visual separation. This one's not so much a trick as it is a quick way to help you identify and segregate different objects in your game. As your video game's hierarchy grows in Unity, you may find it quickly becomes difficult to locate particular game objects or components while scrolling through quickly. A really easy way to keep track of things is to use empty game objects to physically separate objects by purpose, position, level, or whatever other way you wish. Simply add an empty game object into the hierarchy window and give it an easily identifiable name. I usually use dashes like in this example. Then drag it somewhere within your hierarchy where it makes sense and move all relevant game objects below it. Do this as many times as you need in order to keep your hierarchy clean and navigable. Number one. I use this one all the time. But before I tell you about it, please be sure to like or subscribe for future updates. Okay, the number one Unity hierarchy window trick is the T-Type Quick Search. Did you know you can search for more than just game object names in the hierarchy search window? That's right, you can search for other things like scripts and components. To do this, navigate to the search field in Unity's hierarchy window and type in T colon, and then the name of the component you wish to search or filter for. 
For example, typing in t colon box collider will bring up only game objects which contain the box collider component on them. Another example is t colon my special script, which only brings up game objects with the script named my special script attached to them. There is a caveat here. You must type the full name of the component. Partial names are not recognized. Have some Unity hierarchy tricks of your own that you'd like to share? Put them in the comments and I may feature your tip in a future video. And be sure to subscribe for future updates and up your Unity skills. Thanks for watching.